know, doing what we do, you don't have a lot of friends because you don't have time. You know, I have my family at home, and uh, Zona's one of my closest friends. Phil was one of my closest friends and my daddy. And that's really about it. I lost my daddy almost a year to date before Phil died. You, you know, it, it, this is a, uh, this is a different, this is a different pro team journal. It's a little public lake that a guy told us about and that guy was, was family. Phil Marks worked for striking. He was a Swiss army knife. He was like an older brother to me. He was like an older brother to Hackney and he did everything besides being one of the most badass fishermen I, I have ever been in the boat with. Ooh, that a boy. Dang it, cuz. I was a little geeked up. Oh, can, I, can I ask you a favor? The next one, <laughs> hit him. <laughs> Set the hook on him. God. That's a netter. Mm. Short liner, too. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Awesome. Woo! Oh, swinging sugar buds. I love you. And that's the result. He just knew the industry. You know what I mean? And when I say Swiss Army knife, that dude could develop a bait, a, a 10XD, go out and win a hundred grand, the next week walk in a big box store and sell millions of those, and then turn around and go develop another bait. Big. That's it, that's her. <laughs> oh, the belly flopper. The belly flopper. <laughs> Only takes one, changes Look things. That, that is a pretty fish. Phil was striking. He was everything striking was. And we became close, and, and Phil got sick and uh, had, had a, a really wicked battle with cancer. Phil was in probably the very last stages of, of his, his fight with cancer. And he called, he called me and he called Greg and he said, hey, I've got a lake. It, it's a deep grass lake and that was his specialty. And he said, do me a favor. He said, I'm too weak to go. He said, you and Hackney, go knock a show out. So we did, we, so we did his own a show. And, and I, I, I called Greg and you know, it, during the pandemic is when they had his memorial and we couldn't make it. And I said, dude, let, let's, let's, we talked to the folks at Striking. I said, let's go back, you know, a, to, to our older bro, Phil. Let's go back and beat him down on that same lake one more time. And we did. This is a different, this is a different pro team journal. It's really strange shooting pro team journals. Like uh, you cannot air 70% of what comes out of Greg Cackney's mouth or mine for that matter. And it's good stuff. This show is his wheelhouse. When you put a rod with his name on it, a, a seven foot 11 lose Greg Hackney flipping stick and his jig, what is better than that? To like join him as a team partner to shoot a show, right? And I mean, it starts.
I know this is a pro team journal, but five years ago, we shot a Zona show on this little public jewel in Texas, and this is what happened. Get in, boy! Woo! Get in there, get another ride! Get I in dude, I'm going, man! Would we care to say a bloodbath? Time to punch holes, friends. Whoo! Here for a different reason this time. <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! You know, in all honesty, uh, Greg and I worked with a guy from, from Strike King that passed. His name was Phil Marks, and he was, he was a legend on the water in, in the state of Texas, but really Phil was a legend in, in the industry. He was kind of like an older brother to Greg. He was like an older brother to me, and uh, there's one busted right there. And before he passed, he called Greg and he called myself and he said, hey, you guys need to go to this little lake. And he said, I'm not in, in the best of health, but go there and knock their lights out. Uh, and it's the first time we've been back since Phil had passed. Got me coming up. Mm -hmm. Nice. It looks good though, good and healthy. Mm -hmm. Little chub. Yeah, it is. There you go. Get him out, get him out. Get out of there. That's gonna happen all day long. Come on in here. Okay, here's the whole deal. Here's what's gonna happen all day long. You're not gonna see when I swat or Greg swats. You are not gonna see either of us looking at each other because wherever you catch one in this lake this time of year in this deep grass, it doesn't look like it, but this grass is like eight to 12 feet. But you see this jig? It's designed by that guy right there, Greg Hackney. It's a hack attack jig and here's the deal. One ounce or an ounce and a quarter. The whole principle of this flipping deep grass is you hear reaction bites with a crankbait or blah, blah, blah. get him. Ah. This whole thing, this whole thing is gonna be like you hear a reaction bite with a crankbait or a, a red eye shad or a spinnerbait, blah, blah, blah. This is a reaction bite with a slow presentation, okay? Like you, you see a lot of guys throwing a jig. This thing falls like a bowling ball. It's always a, a blast to fish with Z. We've known each other 20 plus years. I'm not even gonna tell you what we used to do when we first started hanging out because I probably shouldn't say that. But even though we've not been in the boat in, wow, maybe, I don't know, a couple years, we both have busy schedules. He's commentating Bassmaster, filming TV shows. I'm traveling all over the country fishing Bassmasters. We both have obligations to family at home, but it, it's an immediate connection. I probably laugh more today than I have in the last six months, honestly. Sabine. <laughs> Did he say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Like, and that's good for you. It's good for your soul. And uh, I feel like today was really good for my soul. Oh, gosh, damn. Damn, <laughs> they messed up my freaking jig. I should have had two rigged up. Three for seven, three for seven. Phil Marks is upstairs laughing his ass off right now. He's like swat. You freaking losers. I'm swat. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a right. I love it. <laughs> Looks good to me. Looks good. That's so great. That is so great. The best part about that is, oh, you don't know what's going to come up out of that grassy hole. I, I use a, a little bit different braid than Greg uses because I'm blind. And I use a white braid. It's called Threadlock. And you, I could watch that braid go down and it was going down, it was about 10 feet under the surface and I saw that the surface just go. Gonna be a fun day, bud. 
There he is. Hello! I finally captured one. It their bass. I'm 100% sure of it now. I'm getting bass <clears throat> bites. Oh, they look, they do look good. They look good. They feel good. They nice ones. Look at that little mm -hmm. chubbling. Bowed up. Back to the deep. Just a pressure deal. Was it? Yep. And I just leaned into it instead of swatting. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have shot all the shows that I've shot with Greg to shoot this. Like I said, this is a different pro team journal. This was a, a, a thanks to somebody that affected my life. I know affected Greg's life and most of all affected the bass fishing industry's life, even though maybe a lot of you don't know it. But he was one of the most impactful people I've ever known in my life. I owe, I owe Coach Phil a lot. Somewhere he is totally up there right now looking at Greg and myself saying, y'all still suck. <laughs> Kevin Van Dam here, and I can tell you a whole lot has changed in my life over the last year. I went from a full-time tournament angler after 33 years of being on the road to a full-time television host. But the one thing that hasn't changed is my passion for cooking outdoors. I absolutely love it. Whether I'm on the road filming a show or I'm here in my backyard, and you can see I've got a lot of Weber grills here to cook from, they make it easy. They've got an option for anything that I want to do from a flat top to a pellet grill to a charcoal grill, electric grills tailgating, anything that I want, big, small, a large scale. If I want to do a big event, I've got an option and they just really do it right. To find the right Weber grill for your needs, go to Weber.com. MVP, my guy, and I'm talking about a Northeast Texas hand. Dadgum stud, Phil Marks. <laughs> Nailed it. Even though Phil was one of the baddest dudes that there was uh, on the water, he always would, would hold his own knowledge back and listen. And that's, that's really what, how Strike King became Strike King. And, and really, <laughs> I think Phil had a title, but Phil's title was everything. Now Greg, is that your first bass ever on your new Hack Attack jig? Well, it's the first bass ever on the new finalized Hack Attack yeah, jig. Yeah, yeah, on this prototype. On this prototype jig, it's the first one, and as good, you can tell, it's working. Good way to start. <laughs> in 2003, I, uh, I finished third in the Open Championship, flipping grass. And I was an employee of Strike King at the time, but as Phil was such a big fan of that, he took notice. It was at Toledo Bend, which was one of his home lakes. I really feel like that's what got me hired. He was like an older brother to me. He was like an older brother to Hackney. And he did everything besides being one of the most badass fishermen I, I have ever been in the boat with. He had a way with people. I, I watched him, he, he was so good with people that he could just change whatever he needed to be anytime. Like he could go in these, these meetings with the biggest stores in the industry or the biggest salespeople in the industry uh, and then turn around and, and work with material people on lures and then the next week go win $100,000 on Sam Rayburn. I owe a lot, like where I'm at at Strike King, I owe a lot of that to Phil because he just took a liking to me early on. And again, I'm just, I'm very blessed to sit here. I just feel like he had part, part of that is because of him, so. I, uh, I don't really have anything else to say. See how that dirty spot is? Yeah. I saw that over there a while ago. Really? Uh-huh. There was a place in the grass over there. I saw that. Maybe that's why. That's why, that's why, that's why.
God, I pitched in there and it stopped. And I was like, but he, one didn't have it. Got him. Got him. Now what's funny was with that one right there, I pitched that bait in. By the time I clicked my reel handle, he was five feet to the left. That's how fast, because guaranteed if he went that fast, he had buddies hanging with him. Uh -oh. Biggin. Uh-oh. Nope. Just a fine specimen of a Texas largemouth. Bowed up. Bowed up. Get in here. Boy, stuck nice though, very nice. Just what you'd expect to come. Oh, he's got a little bit of poop coming out. Didn't have any. He must for, well, that's a nice one. Why well, catch nice bass? I like nice bass. Mm, that was bad. Oh, golly, stuck solid as a yeah. rock. Like yeah. I was like, oh you quit, yes. You quit swatting. Just started pulling. Before it happens, when you're out there flipping that grass, right? You're flipping that grass and you're BS and everybody's misbehaving. And there's like elevator music, like nice, soft Christopher Cross sailing, right? Take me away. And then all of a sudden, ACDC Thunderstruck Primus explodes and there are fish going everywhere. There was nothing left to say how to get up. I turned around one time and there's rods sticking in every direction and the baits are mangled. There's fish dying in the floor. I mean, it just, it was a bloodletting. You know what I mean? Lean on them hard. I'm leaning on them hard. Back up, Terry! <laughs> I mean, leaning on them hard. They're all, like, healthy. They've been eating good in Texas. We are going to crush them today. Right now, they're oh eating lead. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh. Yeah? Oh my god. My junk is all messed up, man. Grab another rod. Mm. A nice one. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let me just send it straight down. To the I put a, yeah, right straight down. Get him. Get him. Get him. Put him in here. Get over here. Ow. We got a mess in here. Drop a waypoint. Here, I got him. What is going on here? We got an absolute disaster. You're clear? Clear. Okay. Maybe they're following the boat. What a mess. That's how fast that happens. Did you drop a dot? I got one. <laughs> I dropped more than a dot. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it looks big. Looks big. Looks big. Looks big. Hey, Greg. Two words. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> We're done. That is a big one, dude. Gosh. Let me see.
Get over here. Love you, bud. We're done. We're done. And they need those frogs a little softer. You know, they're starting to show up again. Well, you made that call. Nothing like old hack attack flipping jig in my hand anyway. Mm. Yeah, we've created a bond that will always be here. You know, that's one thing about being at this company for a long time. I've known a lot of great people here and have been very blessed to know them. And uh, we've created memories that I'll have till the day I die. So when we go, when we go and field test the next set of prototypes. What you doing tomorrow? <laughs> and that, that's a special thing. And it's all been a good time. And it'll always be special memories in my mind. It's always been a good time. Get him, Buck, get him! Is he good one? Oh, no. Stay with him. It's a big one, too. You got him all balled up. Is yours still on? There's a little rat tucked in there. <laughs> that sucks. You hear things in life that you're replaceable, right? You, you know what I mean. I'm replaceable. Everybody's replaceable. Phil Marks, not even rem remotely replaceable. No way. Ever. That's all I got. Fine specimen of a Texas. Uh oh, I hear somebody squatting behind me. Grab a fishing pole and get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>